Hello all, how are you? So here's another video. I'm ready with the third story of the 10th class. It's, it is having two parts and they are very beautiful. Both the stories are very beautiful, very interesting. So I would just brush up you the highlights and for you to rebrush during your boards, just have to just memorize, just listen to what I'm saying and you're all good to go to clear your boards. So let's start. The two parts are his first flight and the black aeroplane. I'm going to give you in two videos. So the first part, let's start with his first flight. So this story is all about a young seagull who was really afraid. See, I will tell you what, the, what is the story all about. Since the earliest times, humans have dreamt of conquering the skies, right? Don't you even feel like conquering the world, the sky? A young seagull is afraid to fly. He, how does he conquer his fear? This is the story all about how he conquered his fear. So just jot down the points wherever I'm giving you the highlights so that you can just brush it off while, during your final exams. Okay, so his first flight. So it's all about a young seagull who was sitting on a ledge. Ledge is what? A narrow horizontal shelf. It's a shell where he was sitting up and it's, it's coming out of the wall, actually. It's coming out of the cliff. But, uh, you can say a horizontal little beam projecting out of the wall. So he was sitting over there and his brothers and sister, they knew how to fly. They have learned a day before how to fly. So it's all about the story that he came out of the fear of flying, which he had in his mind. That I cannot fly. He is a very newborn baby, and we all know that the birds, they make their, as soon as they learn how to fly, they fly off from their old nest and they make their own, or they are in their own world and they start flying. So what happened? He was very worried. He was very afraid, scared. He was very small. But his brothers and sisters, they learned how to fly one day before. So what, what they did, he always, what he used to do, he come out on the ledge, at the end of the ledge, he start, He wanted to fly, he tries it, he opens his wings, and then he again gets scared, and then he sits back. He comes in front, and then he feels, he see, there, there was a sea at the bottom, and it was very low down beneath uh, the, that cliff. So he was really afraid that he will fall down. If he will not be able to fly, he will not be able to open his wings, he will fall down. That was the scare that was bothering him really. And that sea was miles down. So he always thought whenever I'll go for flying, I will just fall down and I'll fall down into the sea and nobody will be able to save me. So that kind of scare that got into his heart and he was not able to crop up, not come out of that fear. So his brothers, his sisters, everybody used to, uh, used to laugh at him, make the same coward, 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 but he was not willing to fly. So what, what did his mother and father do the very next day? So... And, and one more thing, his wings was much, much more bigger than the wings of his brothers and sisters. But still, he had that scared, that afraid, that afraid full fear in his mind. So what he used to do, he used to every time flap, come in the come to the ledge and try, but again, of no use. So one day his father thought, his mother and father, what they did with him, they called him and they threatened him, they scolded him. That if you are not going to fly, you are going to starve. We are not going to provide you food now. Because now you have to fly and you have to get your own food. You have to fetch your own food. Okay. So it was 24 hours past now. He was not given food. They were very strict at this time. They didn't give him food. Uh, his brothers and sisters were coming nearby him. They were flying all. They were saying, come, come, come. And he was not ready to do that. He was again very much afraid. Now, what, what the mother did, he made an act. He did an act suddenly. What he did, he put his leg in the front and he behaved as if he's sleeping. He, he was showing his mother, father and sister and brother. They, were, they wanted to teach him how to fly, how to catch the, his own prey, the fishes in the pond, in the sea below, and how to fly with his wings up and down, how to go round about, how to go above that sea. So they want to tell him how to flap a one wing up, how to flap a one wing down, the way they should take the flight, they should be still. So they wanted to teach him, but he was not ready to do that. Now, what was that? The, now the sun was even going down slowly and gradually. The whole day passed, he is not ready to fly. And it was, sun was going towards the evening, means the sun was getting down after every hour and hour. So his heart was sinking. He was 
really dying out of hunger. So he steps slowly out onto the brink of that ledge and standing on one leg with the other leg hidden. He was standing on one leg and the other leg was at the back. And he was hiding himself under the wings and closed his eyes and in order to show his mama and daddy that I'm, I'm slept. I mean, I'm sleeping. I know, but to his more pretend means he pretended to fall asleep. But he was not falling asleep because of course he was very hungry. So when you are hungry, you cannot sleep, right? So his brothers and sisters, they were lying on the plateau and they were dozing their heads and sunking their necks. His father was coming and making efforts so that he can fly, but no. Again, still no. Now only his mother was uh, bothering about him. He was uh, Only the mother was watching him. Nobody else was bothered whether he's eating it or not eating. They were not even trying to means feed something or give him something. They were ignoring him totally. So finally, the mother was watching watching him. And what she did, she gave, went down into the sea. And nearby the sea, there was a fish. So she, at that time, he cried a lot when he saw his mother that he, he's very near to the fish. And he wanted, he was very hungry, he wanted the food. So what he did, ga ga, he cried begging her to bring him some food. Ga kola, he was screaming loudly, he was crying very badly. Mama, please bring me food, bring me food, I'm very much hungry. And he was screaming very badly. Finally, what Mama did, he, he was avoiding, his mother was avoiding him. Finally, she picked up that piece of fish and she was flying across to him. She went nearby him. Now, as she went nearby, she was a little bit far off from uh, the, the seagull. She was a little bit far off. What was the reason? She pretended that, that she will provide him food, but she was a little bit far off. She was flying a little bit far off. Now, what he did, because he was very much angry and he wanted to have the food. So, he just jumped onto that fish uh, piece in order to grab that. But what happened? His mother, mama went uh, to some other place. She went, flew off from that place. And he suddenly went down with a bash. He went down into that, uh, that uh, plain area because the sea was very much down. And suddenly, to his surprise, he was finding himself that he's in the air. Now what to do? He, his heart was really sinking up. Now what to do? He, he was all afraid. What to do? What to do? And suddenly, due to that afraidful fear, he started opening his wings and started to fly. And now his finally his that fear was over at this point of time. And he started flying and he slapped his wing up and down. And he was rushing through that entire area nearby that mountain plateau and nearby the sea. He was flying off with his wings, sometimes up, sometimes down. He was doing all those of circular motions and he was branching all ar around that sea. So now he was able to fly. He has conquered that fear that he cannot fly. Finally, Gaga, Ko Gao Kola, his mother swept past him. Her wings making a loud noise. Now his wings was making that loud noise. When the birds flap their uh, this wings, they they make loud lot of loud noise. You might have also heard it. So that his brothers and sisters were now flying around him, and they were curving. They were banking around him to to applaud him. That finally he's learned to fly. Now what they did. They went nearby the sea, and that sea was green in color. And so they went there and they sat over there. Now, why was they doing this? Because they wanted this. Her name was Shirley. This seagull's name was Shirley, and they were calling him, come, 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 come. Shirley, come and sit up in this sea. So Shirley, he, uh, he followed his brothers and sisters, and he landed into the sea. Now, to his surprise, he was again going beneath that sea. His leg was just entering inside that sea and now he's feeling that he will all drench into that sea. Now what he did, suddenly his stomach, the lower part of his body, it touched the sea and now he was swimming. To his surprise, he was swimming. So finally, he swam into the sea, he learned how to fly and once he was swimming, he took his food, uh, or the, his mama and daddy provided him food, that, ma that mother bought it into, into her beak, that dogfish, and finally, he ate it. Finally, he, his thirst was over. His uh, hunger was over. And he was floating on it. And around him, his family was screaming, praising him. And their beaks were offering him scraps of dogfish. Now, everybody was offering him dogfish. Everybody was offering him food. So, now, that he made his first flight. Finally, he made his first flight. 
So this story is all about what is the moral of the story? That if you believe in yourself, if you have strength in you, you can conquer the entire world. Now you are in 10th class, you are in boards. So if you work hard, you will have faith in yourself that yes, I can do. Yes, I can make my uh, career, I can make my life very well and can make my parents proud. And you are going to do that for sure. So keep your goals high, keep your targets high and try and work hard to achieve it. Never get scared, never de-hope yourself. Work hard to live up to your expectations, live up to your mama daddy's expectations and achieve your goals. All the best. So if you really like my video, just click the bell icon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. So Suchita Jain is signing off from you and be ready for the second part of this video of this story. Okay. Goodbye for now.